It's the county seat of Scott County, a county rich in human resources. Huntsville has produced a governor of Florida, a member of the Tennessee Supreme Court, three members of the U.S. House of Representatives, and a U.S. Senator. As Huntsville natives would say, the Senator. Howard H. Baker, Jr. was born here 88 years ago. His first entry into politics was when he was elected president of the student body at the University of Tennessee. Senator Baker told me in 1987 that he wasn't really all that interested in politics. I never really planned to get into politics, but I never really resolved not to either. In 1964, Baker was persuaded to run for the U.S. Senate. He lost, but not by much. In 1966, he ran again. This time he was victorious and became the first Republican elected to the Senate by popular vote from Tennessee since Reconstruction. Senator Baker described his political stance as centrist. He said his stepmother used to say of him, Howard is like the Tennessee River. He flows right down the middle. Baker ran for re-election in 1972 and won handily. In 1973, he gained national recognition as vice chairman of the Senate Watergate Committee the ranking Republican. And his question became a question asked by the nation. What did the president know, and when did he know it? Senator Baker was elected Senate Minority Leader in 1977. He held that position until 1981. He ran for president in 1980, but hindered by his duties as Minority Leader, didn't do well in early primaries and dropped out of the running. He probably would have run for president in 1988, had he not agreed to become Ronald Reagan's chief of staff in 1987. Senator Baker was married to the daughters of two senators. His first wife, Joy Dirksen, was the daughter of Senator Everett Dirksen. After her death, he married U.S. Senator Nancy Kassebaum, daughter of Alf Landon. He served as ambassador to Japan for four years. Then he retired. One of Senator Baker's last public appearances was on his 88th birthday last year at the University of Tennessee during a visit here by Tom Brokaw.